so welcome back to the channel today we're gonna do a video on two laramies one's gonna be a bighorn which is this one right here and the one on this side is a laramie so they both have optional equipment this has the night edition package on both trucks and i want to show you really the differences of the bighorn and the laramie and just show you which one you should get so they're definitely pretty similar but they're very different so let's go ahead and get into the video be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and let's get into it as far as the engine options go these are 2500 so you do have a standard gas 6.4 liter v8 it's going to be standard for both trucks they come with 373 axles you can upgrade to an optional 410 axle if you'd like as i said earlier these do have night packages on them so for this specific truck you're going to get painted bumpers front and rear you're also going to get a blacked out grill and the surrounds going to be blacked out too they're going to give you a darkened headlight bezel and this looks really really aggressive now if you take a look at the laramie it's literally the same story the only difference is here you do have led headlights you're also going to have led fog lights now if you would like to have led headlights and fog lights on the bighorn it is available for $795 however you do have to add a level b package which is like $4,700 so it's like five grand actually a little bit more than five grand to have led headlights if that's all you want you can't get them by themselves so it's going to cost you five thousand dollars to get those headlights whereas it is standard here on the laramie one thing to point out on the bighorn is fog lights would be an option depending on what package you get but they are available as an option tow hooks will also be an option too and parking sensors would be an option whereas as i said fog lights would be standard parking sensors would be standard but on the laramie these tow hooks will be an option too so if you would like that you have the option for it too now you can tell on the side that they both do have 20 inch wheels these wheels are an option too now you can tell here that this does not have any fender flares and i would say this truck looks totally different without fender flares and i would almost venture to say when you look at the laramie it does have a nicer appearance having those fender flares and they do make the truck look a little bit more upscale too so one thing you can already tell too is that this does have a optional power deployable step you cannot get power deployable steps on a bighorn that is something that you would have to step up to a higher trim level to get you can however get like black running boards if you'd like that from the factory one advantage that the bighorn has over the laramie is if you are ordering this truck there are a lot of different colors that you can get they're called low volume color so if you would like to have a low volume color that you don't normally see like a lime green or like a like a burnt orange you can get those colors in this truck now you won't be able to get them with this night edition package but they are available for this truck if you'd like something crazy and you want to build the truck however you want you cannot get those low volume colors on the laramie one thing that i've grown accustomed to having is a smart key system on the bighorn you cannot get a smart key system you would just have to use the lock and unlock function on the key so to get in and out of the truck you have to find that key open the door now if you were to step up to a laramie life becomes a little bit easier because this does have the smart key system so in order to use this you keep the key in your pocket and you can lock the door from this button or you can slip your hand in now this is not going to work unfortunately because this truck is still in ship mode it just got here so it's not going to work now as far as really everything else goes on the cab configuration you can get a crew cab as you see here you can get a long bed which is an eight foot bed the bed you're seeing on these two trucks are going to be the 6-4 bed and you do have an option to have a mega cab now if you would like the mega cab on the bighorn it is available so just be sure to ask your dealer to option for you if you would like to build the truck from the factory as far as the suspension goes front and rear it's going to be the same there is an option to have air suspension on both trucks so if you would like to have air suspension on laramie or bighorn you can get that option this does have a standard five link coiled suspension for the three quarter ton trucks and that would be the same on both sides okay out back you do have electronic button push for the bed however as you just saw it does not have an assistance 
for the bed, okay? So if you would like that, you know what you're gonna have to do, right? You're gonna have to walk on over to the Laramie. The Laramie does have electronic uh, tailgate and it is assisted. Now, as you saw, that big horn did not have a spray and bed liner. That is an option for both trucks. You did have the plugs on both sides too. They have the fifth wheel prep package. It is an option on both sides too. Another thing is you can get LED bed lights too for both trucks and you can get the high mount um, with the camera too. This truck did not have that option put on it, but it is available. So if you would like that, just be sure to option. And this one does not have the LEDs either. Another advantage that the Laramie does have is you do have an availability to drop that tailgate. You cannot get that even as an option on this Bighorn. Another downside to the Bighorn is if you don't get the LED headlights or the blind spot monitoring, you only get these incandescent tail lights. So these are all going to be incandescent bulbs. However, on the Laramie, you get this standard blind spot monitoring come standard and full LED tail lights come standard too. Now all is not lost. Now I always upgrade these on my cars. They don't have them. You do have LED um, license plate lights. It does add a nice touch to the truck and they come standard on both sides here. Okay. And that's pretty much everything that I can see from the outside. So let's go ahead and take a look at the interior on the Bighorn. One thing about Ram is if you are looking at a Bighorn, which is just a step up from the Tradesman, this is just a nicer Tradesman basically. The interior is extremely nice. Like I would not be unhappy with this interior, even though I have a limited. You do have a cloth insert here. It looks really nice. A nice plastic wood trim piece and soft touch, you know, in these spots, but there is hard plastic pretty much everywhere else. You can get an Alpine sound system um on the laramie you can get a harman kardon alpine comes standard and overall the, the design fit and finish is really nice this is a leather wrap steering wheel you do have a vinyl center console here you can get a standard bench on both sides too so just keep that in mind now this one was optioned with the 8.4 inch display this 8.4 inch display is an upgrade so it does have a three three and a half inch screen i believe or five inch screen i'll put it here in the video i can't remember now but dual climate control is missing if you would like have heated seats and steering wheel this is an option too so be sure to option that if that's something that you would like on the laramie they do give you like a suede insert and this is a plastic piece too but look at this upgrade with the stitching again same story you have soft touch here hard plastics in the same spots you do upgrade your door handles you get memory seats as far as the mirrors go i have to go back and look hold on one second they do give you an option to power close these mirrors however i do not think it's available to have a power convex now on the laramie not only do you have an option to close both side mirrors you can control both mirrors by power so that is an upgrade i think that the overall design is really nice you have leather and suede seats now heated seats do come standard on the laramie if you would like a ventilated seat however it is an option so that's something that you would have to pick in a trim package i believe a it used to be called laramie level one or two now they have like a, a level b package they've already confused all the stuff here now as far as the interior goes you don't see a huge difference on the steering wheel. I believe that it's the exact same steering wheel. Now you did notice that this is a seven inch. The truck over here had a three and a half inch. Let me show that to you really quickly. There's a huge difference in how it looks. So just having a smaller screen and even the information on those screens too is definitely different too. Now take a look at the dash on the Bighorn too. As you guys saw, there is no stitching up here. There is stitching on the door, so they do give you some nice accents there. And it kind of matches the stitching on the seats too. So really nice appearance for the interior of both trucks. But when you look at the center console and the dash, let's take a look over at the Laramie. They do add a slightly nicer center console with the Ram badge in the center. 
And check out up top here. This has the stitching up here. It has a nicer, brighter trim piece. It has the Harman Kardon. And I just think that overall, the appearance is just a little bit more upscale in this truck. I mean, even look at the screen, as you just saw, it just, it's just slightly nicer in the Laramie. Most people would think that in order to get this big 12 inch display, you would have to go up to a Laramie or higher trim, but you can get the 12 inch display with the big horn. I will be honest with you guys, you have to be careful with the options that you choose because you can get that big horn just as expensive as this Laramie by adding too much stuff. Now, as you guys saw, you do have leather seats on this truck. So if you don't want leather seats, then the big horn is definitely the way to go. And if you want to go crazy with the options, go ahead, do it. But I wouldn't try to build a big horn to save money if you're going to add a bunch of options because you do get a lot more things standard here that you don't get on the big horn. So I need to make a quick correction on something I said. I said that you cannot get the powered convex on the big horn but you can get a power convex if you do get a tech package. I just saw that. I wanted to be sure before I said it. So just be sure to just take note that you can get that. Again, that package is three grand. So you just have to do your research and figure out whether you want to get this one or the Laramie. Now, one thing you have to note is up top, you are going to have incandescent bulbs front and rear inside of this big horn. It is an option to have these lights in the uh, vanity mirror too, so just keep that in mind. However, if you do move over to the Laramie, it does have LED lights inside of the interior, front and rear, and you do get the illuminated vanities standard too. This does have the high definition rear view. This truck is not available with that option, okay? One thing to keep in mind with the Bighorn is, this passenger size seat does not have power. So your passenger is gonna have to manually adjust their seat. And I believe that this might be an option too, because sometimes this will come as a open storage area. But as you see here, the cover is added probably because of a package. So just keep that in mind if that's something that you like. As far as the layer meat goes, you guys can see that you have this nice powered passenger seat and all of this would come standard too as far as your storage goes you can get covered storage no matter what and you get a power seat so you can't really beat that i i think that my wife would prefer to have a power seat so i'll probably always have to step up to a laramie one last thing to mention this truck is optional with the alpine and if it did have an alpine sound system it would have a subwoofer back under the seat here but because the truck was not an option with that, you just have additional storage. So having the Laramie, you would have to get that Alpine sound system standard. So you would always have a subwoofer. So you automatically lose the storage on this side. You would have the storage over there, but not on this side. And both trucks do have the storage in the floor here. I would venture to say that there's not much differences in the back. The biggest noticeable difference is that you would have available heated seats in the Laramie and USBs do come standard in the rear. However, it is an option on the big one. But you still get the AC vents out back and you do get the 6040 vents. If you get a tradesman, the 6040 vents is not even available. It's just a standard vents that goes up all together. And as I mentioned earlier, this does have the optional Harman Kardon, so you can go up to a nicer sound system for the Laramie, not available for the Bighorn. And you do have the additional USBs, Type A and Type Cs. You do have the heated rear seats, and you do have a power outlet. These heated seats are optional, just keep that in mind for the Laramie. And I like the fact that they give you these lights too. I don't think these are available for the Bighorn. Let's go check real quick. Do they have the lights on the back of the seats? Let's find out. The answer is no, there is no lighting back here. So when these seats are down, that light does shine on the floor and it gives you just a little bit more illumination at night. And here's just a better look at this rear seat too. I don't think I really showed this to you guys. So for the big horn and for the Lambert, they're gonna have the same number since they're pretty much the same configuration with the crew cab, three quarter ton Cummins. Gross axle weight rating up front 6,000. 
6,040 for the rear, 10,000 pound GVWR. So these numbers are going to be the same. Now, because of the options and features, the payload number is going to be slightly different. So this one has a payload of 2,178 pounds. And for the Laramie, it is 2,023. And that's going to be 155 pounds difference. So if you think about it, that's an extra person that you can carry in the Bighorn with that payload number. Right, so this is the window sticker for the Laramie. 52535 is the base price. And then this is the Bighorn. 45575 is the base price. Now, here is a quick look at the standard equipment. And then here are some of the options. Be sure to pause it if you'd like to view more. And then this is the other side of the options. And then all in price of 77580 for the Laramie. Here's the standard equipment for the Bighorn. And then this is the options. Options continued. And then price in total is $64,955. And so you can see there's a huge difference in the price. This truck has a lot more options, but this truck doesn't have a lot of options at all because it doesn't have the level B equipment, which would be another $2,000. So just keep that in mind. So these trucks are about $10,000 in difference. I mean, you can definitely get this truck with a lot less options on it. But as far as the night edition package, the night edition package is actually a little bit more expensive on the Bighorn at $2,795 on the Laramie is $24.95, so this is a couple hundred bucks more, and it's probably because it's adding fog lights and things like that. But hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And may the Lord bless you, and y'all have a mighty fine day.